Hi Taurus, welcome to February. This is for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're not sure which one to follow for this reading, there's a link to a video in the description box below that'll kind of explain it for you. This is your general reading, so it will cover, um, generally, what does February look like for you? What kind of energies are you putting out there? What kind of challenges are you going to face? We're going to look specifically at work, career, and finance, love for singles and couples. And then we're also going to look at our personal development. And as a fun thing at the end, we are going to look at your crystal of the month in case you're into crystals or you want to use a crystal in order to kind of um, help you get through February in the most positive direction possible. So let's get started. Okay, Taurus, what do we have? Well, what does your month look like overall? Well, you're kind of like letting go of the past. Like you're not thinking about the past, it's not interfering with your future, and now you're starting to be a little bit more generous with your time, with your energy, with your money, and that should pay off for you. It might not specifically pay off um, in February, but in general, all of that um, that you're giving will come back to you sixfold. So good, good. What kind of challenges are you facing? And they're saying patience, patience and waiting for that to pay off. But the, like I said, we already know it's going to pay off. And it's actually going to pay off for you in bigger and better ways than you even thought possible. Great. <laughs> what kind of vibes are you putting out in the month of February? That you're a winner. You know, like, you're just very much on top of things. People are like, bravo, Taurus, Taurus, woo! Like, people are, like, championing the Taurus this month. So, yay. Um, I kind of just got that song in my head from Bring It On. It's like, um, a, you know, the Tauros. <laughs> That's you. Go Tauros. <laughs> okay. Um, overall, what's your goal or area of focus for the month of February? And they're like seeing the good in everything because that's going to pay off for you. Opening up your heart chakra is the reason why you're coming into all this wonderful energy where people just look at you and they're like, yeah, all right, Taurus, you know, you're a really great person and, and you're so giving and you're so loving and you seem to have your shit together. And wow, they're like, that's where that's coming from. And it's creating a lot of sunshine and joy and happiness within you. And so like the more that you practice the power of positive thinking, the more um, on fire you're going to be, the more like, the more happy you're going to be on a day to day level. So awesome. I know that sounds like stupid and like obvious, but, but that's your reading. <laughs> Okay, so looking specifically at work, career, and finances, what does it look like overall for you? Um, you're moving through like some changes that were led by your intuition to like more calm and peaceful environments in regards to your finances. Like things are getting easier for you based on the lessons that you've learned from the past. And so that's kind of what it's saying. It's like you're not stuck in the past anymore. You've ta You've learned your lessons. You've taken what you need from that and now you're like kind of moving into like a smoother, more um, predictable, but peaceful and harmonious work life, career or financial situation. Good for you. Um, challenges that you could be facing are to really love what you're doing, to really love your situation, which is maybe why they're like, hey, little reminder, expressing gratitude when things don't suck. like kind of, you know, making that conscious effort to love that things are peaceful and harmonious and balanced. So the vibes that you're putting out are that you're very direct, like you have learned a lot. And, you know, this might be a really good month for Taurus people. I dropped something on the floor. Hold on. This might be a really good month for Taurus people to kind of share what you've learned with other people and like how you came to the situation of feeling super balanced and like kind of just trusting that the universe is going to provide for you what you need. Like this hopeful optimism that you have um, could be very infectious and helpful to other people. You've created this, like you've figured out a lot of things on your own and now you have really important information to share. And so um, as a result, you could help other people kind of come into this place of peace and harmony and balance with finances um, and career and work life 
that you've attained and they would be very thankful for that. So, you know, like if you've been, uh, if you've had the itch to make one of those Facebook webinars that you just scan right past, yours might actually be successful, Taurus. <laughs> okay. Um, your overall goal in regards to career, finance and money or work is changing direction now that you've achieved this area of peace and harmony and balance. Why would it ask you to change direction when you finally achieved it? Well, because you can make it even better. They're like, don't entirely shift directions, but just change your attitude into one more of gratitude and positivity is essentially what it's saying. It says the actual goal is to make one solid, solid and effective healing choice um, for this month that can positively change the direction of your life in other areas. And so essentially they're saying, look at what you did in regards to like the knowledge that you have, the way that you framed things in order to achieve this um, stable lifestyle that you have in your very earthy energy. Um, and now apply that maybe to other areas because now there's proof that it works, okay? Looking at your love life for single Taurus, what do we have in regards to the general vibe? New passion and exciting adventures are just like yours for the taking in the month of February. Um, what do we have for couples? And they're like, you know, being wise, being real, saying, here's how I see things and I'm not wrong. Because you're not wrong. You know, it's not arrogant and it's not condescending to be that way this month because you're, you're absolutely correct. <laughs> what kind of challenges are you facing if you're single? Um, you're going to be maybe a little bit challenged to have a really great time with other people if you're the Taurus who's so lucky to meet this really passionate, wild, adventure type energy this month. It very well could be a fire sign, um, but it could also be a water sign. It doesn't have to be, but it looks like maybe a double fire water kind of an energy is what I'm getting. Like it could be like a Leo sun, Leo rising, um, cancer moon kind of energy, something like that, where it's like, not only are they deep and um, kind of mysterious and like very like, um, you could connect with them on an emotional le level, but they're fun and they're exciting and they're sexy and you just can't keep your mitts off of them kind of energy. So that's exciting if you're single. Um, like what a good challenge to have, right? <laughs> so, oh, anyway, I didn't even tell you what the challenge was. So the challenge is, um, you know, like maybe you want to go out and have fun with your friends. Maybe they're asking you to hang and you're like, oh, I'm a little bit distracted because I'm having so much wild and passionate sex over here. Um, but try to find the balance there. Does that make sense? Like don't completely discard uh, friends and different obligations, social obligations because you've met this person who's like so fun. Okay. Um, for those of you who are coupled, what's your challenge? To really figure out what the fuck do I want, right? Like your energy's a little bit all over the place. What's the most important thing for me in regards to our relationship? You know, am I picking fights? Am I um, making mountains out of molehills? Maybe, maybe not. But like, what can I let go of? And where do I want to focus in our relationship? Because there's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of different energy and it's, a lot of it's emotionally charged. And so then it kind of just makes you almost detach from your relationship a little bit until you figure out what's the most important thing that you want to handle first. Now, what kind of vibes are you putting out if you're single? Um, it's not necessarily like an argumentative vibe. It's like, okay, you and me, we're looking for the same thing, but maybe you have different ideas on um, how to achieve the same thing, right? So if you're looking for a long-term relationship, you're likely to meet people who also want long-term relationships, but maybe you disagree on the pace of how that should go. If you're looking for um, just like a short-term fling, you're also meeting people who are matched with you that way, um, but then it's like, do we, do you stay the night or you don't like you disagree on little things like that. Right. And the point is that you want the same thing. So who cares about the little things in between? Now, um, what kind of vibes are you putting out if you are coupled? 
um, that you're not walking away from your relationship, so that's good, but you are still very much in that kind of confused energy, and so it might be threatening to your partner, like they might be, have this fear that you might abandon them, even though, um, on the other hand, they're very secure that you're not going to leave, but it's like until you get really specific and direct about what it is that you um, want, they might feel a little bit uncomfortable, okay? Um, so the overall goal for you, if you are a single Taurus in the month of February, something to reflect on, think about, express more of, and it's, um, the total like mind, body, spirit, health. Okay. So visualizing yourself in a very healthy way. So this could be about developing a healthy self, self esteem. This is about opening up your heart chakra, but then, um, like figuring out what is healthy for me, you know? Um, and how does that tie into your love life? Well, you know, if you're going to be on these like sexual adventures because you're single, this could be like, okay, what does a healthy sex life look like? You know, what do I need to do to protect myself? This might just be like a warning, like, hey, get over to the clinic and just get your STD test. Make sure that's all cool. This could be about, um, especially the way that she's holding this in her lap. This could be about protecting yourself from pregnancy or um, accidental pregnancies, you know, like if, if you're a dude watching this, like, oh man. And, you know, especially because this could be like a little bit deceptive. You see how, um, how she's trying to show you, like, look, um, like I'm this tiny little thing. Like, look, no, I'm not pregnant. Like I'm totally on birth control. You could be fucking duped because <laughs> uh, the reality is, this is an image that she's trying to portray, something she's showing you, but behind there, she's a bit larger, isn't she? Hmm. Okay. So for those of you who are coupled, what's going on? Choosing to heal, taking this um, emotional stuff that you're putting to the side, you're not like dealing with it. And maybe, you know, that's part of the reason why it's hard to decide where to focus in your relationship because there's stuff you just don't want to deal with because it's hard and it's emotional and it causes perhaps some more um, drama. But the thing is, is it, as you sit, let it sit there and you let it fester, um, it doesn't get better. It just gets bigger and bigger and bigger until it actually comes out and you're forced to talk about it and then you explode where things could really just be peaceful should you choose to just kind of heal from things, right? And so it's like, realize what am I angry about most of the time when I'm angry and is this something I want to stay angry about and bring up over and over and over again or something I just want to release and heal and move on from so a uh, very different experience for single versus coupled Tauruses what do we see here for your personal growth and development in the month of February in general for Taurus um things should be easy like the things that have had to come apart in order for you to be where you're at right now have already done so. And now it's about rebuilding and so far doing a good job. They're like, oh, this is interesting because Aries had this too. Um, and I don't know if you've seen the Cancer Moon video that came out in the beginning of January or maybe the middle of January. It talks about how starting in January, um, moving up to the 31st, so maybe you're watching this in advance of the 31st for February, but that February is kind of like the beginning of when we're going to see all of these karmic things play out for us in the year of 2018. So, you know, in 2017 and years previous, if you were a total douchebag, um, you could start to be punished for that in different ways now. <laughs> but if you were a sweetheart, if you were an angel, if you were you know, loving and kind to other people, you should start to see rewards in many different areas of your life as a result of that. Like, so if your karma is good, you can expect blessings. And you know, like maybe you were particularly loving to other people and you were helpful. You might not get it back from those same people. You might not get it in the form of assistance or aid from other people. You might see that show up in your financial sector. If you were very generous with your money, you um, might not have the kind of year where it's like people just keep throwing money at you you very well may but you might now get um different karmic rewards and blessings from other people like in the form of aid or friendship or whatever you know just very good things coming for you if your karma is good but if you were an asshole expect to have a shitty year and i'm sorry that's it <laughs> okay um what kind of vibes are you putting out 
that you're patient, but that um, you're patient for a reason because you have this assuredness that everything that you're waiting for is worth waiting for. Now, this is um, kind of a cool thing. I want you to see how she planted this tree. She waited like for fucking ever for the tree to grow. And now she's like, okay, it's time to harvest whatever's growing on this tree, right? These little pentacles. So she shows up with a ladder in her basket, expecting to be able to put all of these seven pentacles in her basket. But lo and behold, to her surprise, each pentacle is bigger than the basket itself. So things have paid off for her times seven. And you already had something like that, like things are paying off times six. So things are going to pay off for you times six or seven. Whatever kind of karmic stuff that you put out there, you're going to get it back to you in a positive way times six or seven. So if there was ever a month to like be like, oh man, I'm going to be like doing good deeds and like being super kind and tipping extra, this is your month. <coughs> Excuse me. Awesome. Lucky. Um, and I do see this more for Taurus paying off in like a more financial kind of way or, um, you know, just like, and maybe it doesn't mean that more money is just like flowing into you. Like you're getting mystery checks in the mail, you're getting um, bonuses at work. Very well could be. Um, you might have a long lost family member who leaves you a shit ton of money when they die that you didn't even know existed. It could be things like that, but it could also come in different forms. Like, um, massive discounts. Like you go to pay for your um, grocery delivery and then like there's automatically a coupon code that's entered in there for 80% off. Like it could be weird things like that, but, but you're going to start feeling all of this flow of blessings. Maybe you go to buy a house and um, you put in an offer. Somebody else's offer is way above yours, but the homeowner says, you know what? I've been hoping that somebody like you would buy this house and they give it to you cheap. You know, things like that. Um, okay, so what is your overall goal in regards to your own personal development, Taurus? And then again, this focus on taking steps to get healthy. And it's coming from a heart chakra energy as opposed to a root chakra energy, which just means like, okay, sure, maybe you're going to focus on ways that you can be more healthy for your body and that will affect you emotionally. Okay, like if you start, you get endorphins from exercise or from getting massages or from doing yoga, and then that plays out in your relationships as well, right? Like if you're in a more, um, if you're vibrating at a higher vibration, you're more loving and then that fixes your relationships, but vice versa too. If you're focused on your emotional health, okay, all of a sudden, like these body pains that you have, these symptoms that you might have, they just go away because a lot of that is from chronic stress and things or, you know, um, fears and stuff that we don't deal with that we just kind of drag along with us, especially if you're in a coupled relationship because it looks like that's kind of an issue for you. Um, dealing with your emotional health is going to help you feel better on the outside. And you know what's weird? Um, some people, when, they're, when they have like chronic stress or they're in like shitty relationships, they will gain weight as a, it, so there's a couple different reasons, right? Like the scientific reason is cortisol. The spiritual reason is that um, if we're around somebody who's like a spiritual vampire, they'll suck our energy. And because we're not appropriately shielding and protecting our own energy, our body puts weight on as like, like a fat layer that you just can't get rid of no matter how much you diet, no matter how much you exercise, because it's trying to act as like a buffer to protect your own personal energy. So this person can't steal it anymore. Okay. So that could be one thing. And then other people, um, they lose a lot of weight and become very unhealthy as a result of stress. Like there's two different camps here, but the majority of Tauruses are going to be in that other camp where it's like you put this weight on that you can't shed because you're not appropriately protecting your own, own energy by either cutting ties with people or with um, shielding your own aura. So that was interesting. Now I want to move uh, over to your stone of the month. So you have optical calcite. I don't, know if you can see very well but it's kind of cool because there's like all these different shapes within it right I don't know I love these I think they're beautiful and it's like a different shape every angle that you put it on anyway I was horrible at geometry so I can't tell you what it is it's like a parallelogram don't know okay anyway um point of optical calcite what I wanted to say about it is um some of the qualities that it expresses are that it will help you 
with your physical, emotional, and mental health, like by giving you energy. So it, it raises your energy in all of those different areas. It helps you to get rid of like emotional baggage. It makes you less lazy. Um, and so it looks like with that kind of confusion energy for couple Tauruses, this would be helpful with that, like helps you to kind of just get to the root of the problem. Um, but it just kind of like stimulates this desire or ability to excel in whatever we're doing. It's like a go get them kind of attitude, which will be really helpful for you in this month of like whatever you put out there, you get back time six or seven. So there's a lot of other qualities about this. It helps you to have like better skin, helps get rid of warts, like weird stuff. But Ooh, that might be important for those of you who are single, because we did mention you might want to go to the clinic, uh, not to get too personal. But anyway, there's a boatload of other reasons why this crystal would be good for you. Um, you could look at the, you could just look them up online. You go to your local crystal store to get one of these if you want, um, order one online. This specific crystal I put on the website for purchase if you'd like it. Um, and then it comes with like videos on how to use it and uh, like the full list of all the spiritual and um, emotional and physical ways that this is helpful. But don't feel pressured to get this one specifically. Um, just an optical calcite would be helpful for you in general if you have a crystal store nearby or whatever. If you don't know how to use your crystals, I don't believe that every single crystal video I ever made for um, my Patreon subscribers is on the playlist yet. Uh, publicly for YouTube, but I do think there's one or two of them in there. So maybe that'll give you some ideas if you do obtain your own crystal. So love and light, and I will see you in a few weeks for your love reading. Bye.